and hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So, today in this little tutorial, we'll be finally be talking about if statements. So this will allow you to kind of add some logic into your code, make things happen. So yeah, let's get started. So we talked about booleans, which is either true or false. And false is the same as null. In a sense, nil and false are not the same, but both of them basically returns false. So an if statement basically works like this. If true, then, re then do something. So if we go if, then it will actually autocomplete it for us. And we can just say if true, and here we can say print statement was true. If we were to run this, it will execute like nothing has actually changed. Let me just go here and say Lua made the Lua statement was true. Okay, that's pretty cool. But if we were to turn this into false, then if I just go here, as you can see, it never executed because this only executes, this if statement only executes if this right here is true. And nil, of course, nil does not return true, so it will automatically skip. But put anything else in here and it will basically return true. So if I go, uh, two for example that is the same as true the only false things inside of Lua is null and false take note of that you might be thinking how can this actually be useful because if you say if it's true or false it's kind of not very useful well one thing we can do is we can use comparison operators so if I were to just go here we have different ones so we have bigger than which we'll, we'll be covering all of them or at least most of them less than bigger than or equal to less than or equal to not equal to, take note, oh wait, my bad, not equal to, take note, if you're coming from a different language, this is not equal, not this anymore. So this here, that's not not equal. This is now not equal. So if you're coming from a different language, take note of that. And then there's equal to. So we'll be covering them right now. So let's say here, let's go and create a local variable and call it age. And let's say age is 15. Now here we can say, if age is more than 17, then we can go here and say, you may enter. Now if we run that, it will not execute because age is less than 17. Or age is not more than 17. Take that if we were to make this a 17, it will still not execute. Because this means if age is this plus 1. So if it's more than this value here, which means if this is 18, it will work. You may enter. If you wanted to work on 17, you can either go if it's more than 16. Or you can say if it's more and equal to 17. And that will allow it to, when it's 17, also allow people to go in. If it's more than 17 and age is less than, let's say, uh, 60, then you may enter. If we run this, it will not execute. And if we make this 60, it will not execute. But if we make this, let's say, 30, for example, it will. Because this checks if this right here and this right here. So if both of these return true, because remember this, that will return true if age is more than 17. And this will return true if age is less than 60. Less than 60, not less or equal to. If we want to include 60, we can say less or equal to 60. We can also do maybe something like this. If age is more than 17, or, or age is less than 10. If we do this, it will work. If we make this and say this is 15, it won't work. But if we say this is 10, I mean 9 because it has to be less, then you may enter. So this right here is basically if this is true or if this is true. Where with and it was, because and is like this, true and true, and then that will execute. But true and false not execute. Same with false and true. 
that will also not execute. But with OR it's a different story. If it's TRUE or TRUE, it will execute. Also here if it's FALSE and FALSE, it will also not execute. So this one up here is a lot more string, uh, strict. If it's true, let, let, I'm just going to copy all of this here, right here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to type it all out. And then we can just paste that in. So then we just change all of this to or and that should. So true or false, that will execute. False or true, that will execute. False or false, that will not execute. So there, with or, there has to be one true value. With and, both of them or all of them has to be true. Of course, you can use, you can be more here, so let's say, or, and then you can add more things. But yeah, we're not going to go that complicated, we're just going to stick with this for now. If h is not equal to 20, then you may enter. That should not be an exclamation mark, that should be a tilde, there we go, it's not equal to. Run that, and you may enter, but as soon as I make h equal to 20, it will still give us, it will now no longer allow us to enter. We can always change, do like this, so um, local name is equal to Tom. And for now, let's just go like this. If age is equal to 20, then you may enter, so now you can, you may enter. And let's make this 10 now, so now it will no longer print that. We can do the same with names, so we can say if name, so we can match strings and numbers, so if name is equal to Tom, then you can see you may enter. And we can even match them, so if name is equal to Tom and age is equal to 10, you may enter. So maybe you're not creating a bot because you have an amazing treehouse and it's so technological. This can be your way to go. If you're, if the name of the guy is Tom and he's 10, you may enter. We can also, so if we were to change this to 20, now it will no longer work. But if we were to change this to OR, then it will. So that's kind of how to use AND, OR, bigger AND, less than, more than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal to, AND equal to, inside of IF statements. Let's say, we have another statement here. If not age is less than 18, print you may enter. Guess what the output will be? And you just remember to, uh, there we go. If you guessed you may enter, you were correct. Basically, this right here, is, it just means not. So if so, if this returns false, then this will make it return true. So not true, that will equal false because false is not true. Same here. If it's not false, then that will equal true because if something is not false, it's true. If something is not true, it's false. So that's kind of how this not operator works. So yeah. So let's talk about if else statements. So let's say we can go like this. If age is let's say more than 20, then print you are old. Else print you you are young. So let's see what will happen. You are young. Why is that? Because when this doesn't execute, we can use else to execute this. So if we were to make this 21, then only the first one will execute. So basically, if this executes, then this will not execute. If this executes, that means this did not execute. So if this returns false, so if this whole if statement is false, it means this can't be executed. So then we can use else to tell, okay, if this is false, then please go to this. That's kind of else. You can make it more specific by making an if else. So, or I mean an else if, I mean. So, 
then you can say h is more than 10 then print you are not old or young say that we get you are old change this to be let's say 18 you are not old or young change this to be 9 you are young so this is basically a simple way of showing you how things get triggered you can actually remove this variable right there so basically if this one gets triggered then it will execute this and skip the rest if this does not get triggered it will try and execute this if it executes it will execute it and skip the rest and if all else fails if neither of the above if else statements execute it then it will execute else you can add as many else if statements if you want else if age is more than five then print boohoo or whatnot and they get added actually like that and then we can just format it to look a bit better and as you can see there run it we get boohoo because the age is more than five but it's also less than ten but you cannot have multiple else statements you can only have one else statement per if statement you can have as many if statements as you want as well so if i want to go here and say if age is if type age here's a way we can use it so if type age is equal to and here we can say i think this should work number then print age is a number value run that and as you can see age is a number value as soon as we change this to string then it will no longer execute so you can have many if statements as you want you can even have if statements within if statements so we can do that that is totally valid it's very you can do basically anything you want here print or we don't even have to print we can just change this to like 21 or something 21 now that if statement will execute whenever that is there or we can just say 19 now that if statement won't even execute so there you go you can use a lot of if statement way or you can do a lot of things with if statement in their own little way if you're coming from a different language you might be asking okay but what about the ternary operator ternary operator is basically just something like a one-liner so let's say we create a variable and we call it old now this should be true or false are they old or are they not old true or false like that one way you can do it is by wrapping an if statement so we can say just local old and we can say if age is more than let's say 30 then old is equal to true we can even make old equal to false by default so it will only become true if age is more than 30 do that and we can print old now if we were to run it then it will say false because age is not more than 30 if we go here and say 33 now it will be true the ternary operator allows you to do it all in one line so what how you can do it is you can basically go here so if age is age is more than 30 and true or false that may look a lot of very confusing but basically it just checks hey is that true and is that true so if both of these return true then this will be true otherwise we're going to make it false so we don't need the brackets though so you can just do that if you wanted to now let's see we get true because they are old because age is more than 30 but if we go here we can say 20 then it will be false because they're not old age is not more than 30. so that's one way to do it so yeah that's the turn operator basically if true and true so we basically check if this is true as well so both of these two return true because one will always return true but this one will always return true then return true because then it doesn't have to execute this because that's an or otherwise if one of these two return false which would probably be this one then return false so then this is false a little bit confusing if you don't like the ternary operator you don't need to use it at all if you don't want to 
But yeah, that's if statements. I hope you understood and know how to use if statements now. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I will always, I love it when you guys do that. And I will see you all again in the next video.